No. This up. Yes, of course. But this is a little down. If we do it like that, it's kind of boring, you know? Uh -huh. It's like the highest moment of drama and it is flat. Okay. So it needs a crooked angle. A little bit more, if possible. That is good, and maybe even a little bit lower. Most of the works that I'm showing in the Istanbul Modern Show here are works that were not seen in Turkey before. They know who I am, but they don't know what I do or why they know me, you know, they, because I, I was not able to show the works before. So for that reason, you know, the show is important for me because I'm being able to share my you know, experience and my works with the general public for the first time. It's completing me. I feel more complete as an artist because obviously I am from here. This one, it starts. It goes, ah. it's all about breathing. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Ah. So, and then it goes then, up. And up. Then it, then uh -huh. this one is screaming his head up, going, okay. ah, ah, you okay. know, like uh -huh. that, and it's constant. <laughs> it has more to do about self-confidence. I think. Uh, it is surprising to Turks, the Turkish establishment, that uh, they can have artists who, are, uh, who can operate in the world and not just local artists. So I had to go outside of Turkey and prove myself to the world first and then to the Turkish establishment. And I think this is the tragedy of every artist. You get accepted the last in your own hometown. This I'm going to give to my friend Jan Antolon, it's a Turkish oh, painter. It's, it's more kisses. Yeah, it's a dead clown. <laughs> oh yeah, these are the new series I'm working on. It's like the sexual awakening of my generation, unfortunately. <laughs> this killing, the skeleton man, went around and stole the jewelry of all the rich women and killed them in a sadistic way. This is a true story? No, it is a photo novella. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you the photo novella as well. Oh, wonderful. See? Oh, wow. It's called Yet oh. Another Blonde. You can imagine adolescents growing up. This yeah. was their only porno material. I used to make feature-length films, so usually, you know, waiting for the funding bureaucracies, it takes four or five years to get a film made. And waiting for those fundings, I just couldn't sit around and not do anything. So I started making these, uh, you know, video pieces, not knowing where I would show them. And then one day, a curator discovered them and showed them in Istanbul Biennial. And that was so satisfying to be able to show, to be able to produce in that milieu. And uh, that's how I started. I made the switch. So how are things are supposed to be? There's churches that are supposed to be. I was born in this neighborhood, and the museum is right next to the hospital where I was born. So for me, it's like. Uh, completing a circle, you know, coming back because I don't know, maybe after this show I, I, I will want to be strictly a filmmaker and not, a, not an artist anymore. <laughs> I call the show The Enemy Inside Me. In Turkey we, we grew up with this whole notion of, you know, we are a great nation but unfortunately we have foreign enemies and we also have local enemies inside us, etc. You know, this is of course a state manipulation and, you know, in order to justify a 
security state. It got me in, me in trouble in the past. For example, during the military coup, I went to jail and uh, I got criticized, I got threatened, especially when I made my films. You know, I used to get uh, faxes threatening my life. But in the end, you know, for some reason, you keep doing it. Uh, it's not because I'm a very courageous person, it's just that I don't know how to exist any other way. You know, it's my nature. I feel like as a human being, as an educated individual, I should be able to talk about any issue and express myself. This is my mother, <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> Eskiden bu tür sergileri yaparken açıkçası dışarıya karşı rahat görünmeye çalış, çalışırdım ama tek başıma çok kaygılanırdım. Aman başıma bir şey gelecek mi gene, bir şey olacak mı diye hep korkardım. Türkiye'nin bu olumlu anlamdaki değişimi, değişimi de bu anlamda beni çok mutlu ediyor. Çünkü ilk defa içim rahat bir şekilde işlerimi gösterebiliyorum bu durumda. Evet, çok teşekkür ederim. Whether we like it or not, I think diversity is going to happen in the world anyway. Recognition of different culture is going to happen. In fact, it is happening. I don't think works of art should be solely about you know, giving political messages. You know, that's something a completely different field that you know, I don't want to get into. My work is not about you know, promoting anything in that way. But of course I'm aware of diversity in my work. Kıtısında gördüğü insanları öldürüsü dövmek için kullandığı bir objeydi. Bu biraz bana babamı da hatırlatıyor çünkü babam da bizim bir kez oturma dövmüş.